So I'm out here whapping fish on the Caramello, just a little bobber setup. I don't know if you can see the indicator, but got them dropped down and just drifting out there and had a few bites on it already. We've got a egg dropper for attention and then uh, the Caramello. They're just so feisty when it's this cold. Nice little rainbow, really pretty little fish. Come here, pal. There he goes. Here's a shot of my rig. Got the stinky peat. It's tied on a, uh, a loop knot, clinch knot holding the car caramello. And I've got the egg with a little sinker. And then another foot and a half up is the bobber. This is the caramello. It's a little larva pattern. Ended up pumping the stomach of a fish not too long ago. And I found something that looked kind of like this um, in his belly. And I thought, well, I better try and emulate that and see if we can uh, catch more fish on the food that they're eating. So this pattern has been really effective. I'm going to show you how to tie it, and it's really simple. There's one more look at it in the vise. This is the hooks. This is the yarn. It's yellow. I want to just dress out that hook. We're going to use super fine silver wire to rib the body. I'm just going to tie it in and wrap it forward until that piece is laying flat. And then I'm going to wrap back over it bring that till that silver's clear down at the very bottom we're going to wrap it in this scud back tan eighth inch we're going to get this tied on so we're just going to kind of pinch it down right there and then do a couple of wraps with the thread around it just so that we can get it nice and and tight on there now you can see i've got a couple wraps on there and it's nice and tight so we're just going to wrap the string back up to the front. The next step is to rib it with this silver. So you just want to work your way up to the front by hand. Once you have it up to the front, you just want to make sure and tie it in with the yarn. Wrap around the front of it and the back of it. And then you can either trim this off or helicopter it. The next step, we're going to wrap it. You'll notice this material is kind of rubbery, so we want to make sure it has stretch and that it just lightly overlaps each previous pass and you should start to see that silver show up underneath there. So you want to wrap this all the way up to the front just like so. Then you're going to tie it in. Make sure and go around the front of it and around the back of it and once you get it then you want to fold it over like that. Okay, with it folded over, then we're going to put a few wraps on here. Now you have an option to either color the thread before you do this or after. I have a maroon marker here, and you can just go up and down the thread. Like I said, it can be before or after. Just want to show you the difference between the two. And just kind of make that a little bit darker. Okay, now we're going to wrap that. You'll see that head will get just a little bit darker, just kind of like little larvae and grubs do. And then we're going to whip finish that. Okay, go ahead and get this uh, whip finished here. You also have the option of uh, cementing the head, but I have not been cementing the heads on mine. I've just been doing... Uh, 
a couple of different whip finishes on it and calling it good. And then I like to pull them really tight. Once they're pulled tight, you can also come back to uh, come back to this with your scissors. I like to stretch on it like that and just come right up across there. Now you can see what that looks like. I'll do the same thing to the back over here in just a sec. And then I want to darken that thread up just a little bit more too. I want to have a really nice dark head. This marker's dying on me, so I need to go get the ink a little bit wet. But I feel like that dark on that head helps out just a little bit, make it look a little more realistic. Okay. And then, of course, we'll come in here and just hit that string. And then we'll do the same thing with the back of the tail. There's a little piece of rubber on there. You can either trim it up to a point or put it backwards in the vise like so. And then grab onto it with your, uh, um, your hackle pliers. That's how I like to trim it. See if I can get a hold of it. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than that so you have enough to trim up, but of course you don't want to waste. So then I just pull on that, it'll start to stretch, and then just give it a cut. I missed the missed my opportunity there. We'll just pull on it again, and then give it a little cut, just like so. And that is how you tie the caramello. And this little larva has been slaying trout for me. And hopefully it'll catch a bunch of fish for you too.